Hey guys, welcome. This series is all about chilling and making art. So grab some tea or hot cocoa, get your stylus, your pencil, or whatever you use to make art, and let's start creating. Today I was drinking hot cocoa, but I drank it all while preparing for this video. And you're gonna see the work I did on the Never After animatic, showing what happens when Jiminy Cricket drinks water. And I'm gonna be talking about It Takes Two today. It Takes Two is a game created by Hazelight Studio. I played another game with my sister since the studio makes co-ops games a while ago and it was called A Way Out. A Way Out is a really awesome game and in it you play as two characters, either Leo or Vincent, and you're trying to escape prison. You learn more about the characters as you play the game and they grow together, like they grow closer together throughout the game. Um, the gameplay mechanics throughout the game vary, like, very differently, more than a normal game. Like, for example, at one point you're fighting, like, a side-scroller, like, uh, Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. At one point you're driving through the forest <laughs> as this, uh, driving simulator. I remember at this point we kept failing in the game, had pity on us, and just let us skip that part. There's puzzles involving distractions. There's a lot of stuff. And it's pushed even more when you go to It Takes Two. I also want to mention that there's like uh, mini games throughout the games. There's arm wrestling, darts. Uh, there's one part where in the hospital and you have to balance on this wheelchair. Um, and it was really fun. I also do want to mention that this isn't a sponsored video. I just really enjoyed the game and uh, you know, I thought it'd be fun to talk about something I really enjoyed. So anyway, back to It Takes Two. This game also has like an incredibly diverse, uh, uh, diverse styles of gameplay and it's really pushed further. Um, there's gonna be spoilers to this. I will say the story is not groundbreaking, but I still think it's really fun. And even, even after you kind of, uh, uh, get the pitch, you'll probably know what happened, but it's worth playing um, if you've got a friend you'd like to play the game with. And um, you can play the game in person with someone as well as online. Um, anyway, so It Takes Two Story is um, this married couple, Cody and May, are their relationships are on the rocks, and they tell their daughter they're going to get a dog. <laughs> they tell their daughter they're going to get a divorce. So the daughter asks to leave. They leave and they like beg to this romance book they got by Dr. By Dr. Hakeem to uh, help them help their parents be friends again um, and not have them have a divorce. They cry and we next we fade to Cody and May who now have been trapped inside of uh, do two dolls that May made um, to look like their parents. Um, and then we uh, begin the journey of May and Cody trying to get back to their original bodies um, before their daughter notices. Um, oh, yep, the subscribe spell there, I'll just say. Please subscribe, hit the bell, uh, comment, if you've been enjoying this or if you have any other uh suggestions for um co-op games you could play right now um we're kind of in the middle of playing uh man and madan but love other suggestions um i really enjoy these types of games after this happens they end up getting sucked up oh i should say in this like alternate world where they are uh dolls that can move around um Normal household objects like a vacuum cleaner or like toys will talk and walk and and they'll have different opinions uh, based off of Cody and May and their human forms um, based off of what they did. So they encounter this vacuum cleaner who gets angry at them uh, or is yeah, they recognize them and are as angry at them uh, for for Cody for sucking up crap in his stomach that, you know, shouldn't go into a vacuum cleaner and <laughs> it's basically causing the vacuum to have a messed up gut. And then 
um, it's, he's also angry at May for not fixing the vacuum. And then Dr. Hakeem, uh, the book, reveals that May was also looking to replace him, which makes him very mad. One second. Okay, hope you didn't hear that. But um, yeah, so the vacuum sucks them up and they have to go through this whole environment. And I also say these environments, even though they're like based off of real life things in some ways, they are very um, creatively pushed in a very cool way. Um, I really love the environments throughout this game. Um, anyway, they end up, uh, they're shooting through vacuum tubes that have, like, airflow going through them. It doesn't look like a vacuum at all. Um, it, I mean, in some ways it does. In some ways it does. But, uh, they really, they really went for it. They really had fun with the environments, and I really enjoyed it. And the final battle against this, uh, mini boss has you, like, dodging these exploding, um, like, spray cans and shooting them back, like, sucking them up with vacuum tubes and shooting it back up the vacuum. And I'm gonna just say, the, a lot of the, uh, the, or I don't know if it's a lot, but there are some memorable moments in these games that have kind of brutal, uh, ways that you're fighting bosses or other characters in the game. Uh, which I will get back to later. Uh, if you've played this game, you know what I'm talking about. <coughs> Elephant. Anyway, um, you end up sucking out the vacuum's eyeballs through the, like, the vacuum tubes, whatever they are. You suck his eyeballs out. He's dead. Um, <laughs> but another really cool thing about, uh, these game, this game is the abilities you get each level. And this is also how I think about it as being like a way out in that um, different sections of the game you'll have, uh, will be played very differently um, because of like, it's basically different gameplay, different uh, powers you have each level. And some cool ones that I liked. So the first one you get is um, from this these nails, three nails. So you find these nails after this nail and the hammer once you leave the vacuum. Oh, there's more to go in this video, but I'll just quickly say if you want to check out um, how the Dimension 20 Never After animatic turned out, you should check it out after you watch this video. Link will be in the description. Stick around to see how I drew the uh, anime and chill uh, drawing at the beginning. Okay. So you find the nail and the hammer, and basically, there. <laughs> here again, you get to hear the opinion of uh, a sentient object about your characters, talking about how May, who I played, is heartless for abandoning them and leaving him to die of rust. And you, um, you don't, you don't uh, admit to being May, but you're like, I can help you. I can get some rust spray remover for you. So you don't have to die a painful death. And he talks about it as like burning from the inside. And then uh, the power that you get is May is able to just hammer things. And she uses it throughout the game. She uses it to break bottle. Well, not throughout the game, throughout that level. To break bottles. She uses it to hammer against like, um, I guess, triggers throughout the level. Like at one point, she's ha you have to keep hammering to um, keep a bridge going that Cody can go across. Um, and Cody is able to throw his nails and call them back with a whistle. He uses them to hit these little triggers on the wall. Like, um, he uses them to hit these little triggers that make platforms shoot up and May has to cross across it. I remember I had to, <laughs> we had to play through that part a lot. That was hard. Um, specific abilities I liked were, um, Cody's fire gun. This is in a level where you're fighting against beast help squirrels in this war that they have. Um, uh, basically, it worked that May would shoot out this sap gun and then Cody would shoot fire at it and it would explode. May had this ability to teleport at one point later. She had to go to the location first and like drop a, like basically drop a I don't know, waypoint is the right word, but like drop drop a body version of her, but not in the way that it sounds. It's not grim. Um, basically, yeah, I don't know how to phrase it better than that. And basically what you could like leave that area and then click your button and transport it back and that would be helpful in puzzles. Um, 
Cody was able to shrink one level and get really big. Um, there's one level that May was able to walk up specific types of walls that was really cool. And Cody could turn back time a little bit on one level. We're for specific things, not just like in general. Uh, but yeah. And then um, the different gameplays throughout this. Like obviously having different powers and different ways you approach each level made the gameplay very different each level. But then also we had the side scroller thing at one point. Um, which definitely made the puzzles, the puzzles in general were more challenging, I feel like, than A Way Out. Um, we had to <laughs> look up online, like, how do we do this sometimes? And we're like, oh my gosh, why didn't we think about that? But they were really challenging, really fun. Um, yeah. And, uh, oh, they're... Uh, oh, sorry. I got confused by my notes. There was one part where we were fighting, like, um, Dragon Age Origins, where you were, like, looking down on your characters going through this kind of maze. There was one part where you were, like, flying rockets into this stuffed monkey who's angry at you. Okay, yeah, back to the plot a little bit. So as you're going through this story, you know, you're getting closer, blah, 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 becoming more of a team. Um you realize like oh my gosh i don't know how you realize this but you're like we need to make rose cry to break the spell so um but this monkey the stuffed monkey toy is like you're not gonna make rose cry she's my best friend i'm not gonna allow that and he's like i think he teleports you to space and basically you're fighting him to get out and there's this part where you're like shooting rockets at him which are cool uh, there's this one part where you actually get in a rocket and you're like one of you is flying the other one's shooting and you're literally chasing him down on this like i think it was like a plushy kind of planet um in space um one second um yeah and you like sadly promise that you'll you'll help them be friends again and that you won't make her cry uh, and then I'm like, oh, it's so sad. Uh, but there's worse. Uh, um, one of my favorite, yeah, favorite levels, I would definitely say the garden level. And then also the level I mentioned where you get to, um, fight like Dragon Age Origins, where it's like, uh, I don't know if I explained it, like top down, sort of you're walking, you know, through fighting. Although in Dragon Age Origins, I did always fight in first person. So, but it was still really, really cool. Um, in that, in the plant level, Cody can turn into different plants based off of pots he finds. And he can also use his sprout on his head to grab things. And May gets this scythe and water to help bring plants to life. And then in the, uh, the, uh, level where you're fighting top down, down, which is this castle level, where I will mention, in this level, you are going to find the thing that... Uh, for a second, I forgot the kid's name. <laughs> the thing that Rose loves to make her cry because you're going to destroy it. Her, her elephant. Uh, I don't remember their name. She's like a she's like a princess. No, no, she's a queen. She's a queen. How dare me? Anyway, <laughs> so yeah. But that level is really fun when you're fighting to get to um, when you're fighting to get to the elephant queen. Um, and there's this point where there's this like giant puppet with a rolling pin who is coming to crush you. We died a couple times on that one where you're like trying to fight and outrun that at the same time and destroy down like, um, I feel like there were planks of wood or like things on the wall to like break through them, which I think I could use with my, with a maze fire dash power. Um, anyway. Throughout the game, there were some uh, particularly brutal kills. I already mentioned uh, the vacuum cleaner where you literally suck out his eyeballs with his own <laughs> suction tubes. And Haze Light Studio continues the one game, now two game, now two game tradition of torture scenes. Um, and I think it takes two, even though it's got all these pretty, um, like, even though it looks all pretty and soft and all that stuff, I think it's torture scene is worse in a way out. It might just be because I'm not like fully remembering how it was like, but I think it was worth worse. You finally find the elephant and she's like 
begging you to not kill her. You have to, she runs away from you. You have to get, she runs into this, like, uh, those toy claw machines and she's running around. You're trying to grab her. Um, she's like begging you like, oh, please, let's be just, let's be friends. Let's be friends. Um, and then eventually you get her out of the machine, her like foot stuck in it. And you're like pulling, you're pulling, you rip her out. Her leg falls off. She's like crying like, oh my gosh, let's be friends. Stop. Don't kill me. And like, you're dragging her across. Cause you're like, I, we have to throw her off of the, um, off of, what were they on? Like a cabinet? Whatever. Yeah. Onto the ground. So Rose can see. Uh, your toy and cry and break the spell and she's like begging the entire time she's like um saying how she loves rose and please don't do that and they're feeling terrible and i'm hoping like oh maybe they'll stop maybe we don't have to do this but you just have to um yeah and then they throw the doll on the ground and they start cheering as rose goes over and sees him and starts crying at first you're not sure how they're gonna react but they start cheering and then the spell it's not broken it's not broken that didn't solve the answer um and then cody finds this letter that rose wrote and she's like saying how like i think i know what to do to fix this problem and but of course they stop reading it in the middle dr hakeem the book shows up rips up the letter into four parts and is like you're gonna have to do more challenges for this because he wants them to repair their relationship fully because they're not there yet they don't want to be together yet um they're just a little bit better working together so um eventually the two continue uh they learn what's missing from the relationship how to treat each other better uh, eventually they help each other out with their passions cody is to revitalize his garden which i thought was really cool just to get beat just to get to be tiny in a garden i thought it was cool i thought it was fun i enjoyed it um and then may with her singing which that level was also very fun i don't remember a lot about it right now uh but i really enjoyed it also thank you to the person i mean i i just watched their video but i'll just shout them out anyway i uh watched a video i watched two videos well i started watching one and i switched to a different one i'll put them both if i can find them both in the description i don't remember their names but they were uh walkthrough game channels i'll put them in the description below if you want to check them out um if you want to see what the game's about and you don't want to play it you'll be able to check it out anyway so you know right a lot they're bringing up their passions they got it all that stuff and um eventually they get back to their bodies and they save the relationship all good super great i'm not gonna fully um tell you what happens in the end you can check it out see how it goes um but i really enjoyed the game um it was really fun i think i liked it better than a way out even though oh my gosh a way out was so good and it was emotional in a different way but it was very good i would also play a way out it's really good i think i'd play a way out first and then it takes two i'm yeah i'm glad i played it we played it in that order and then we were so excited after we finished that game. Um, and we were trying to find out information about the uh, the next game. And I'm just going to read to you what uh, Joseph Fares, the, great, the, game, the game director, said. The game director of it, it Takes Two. He said, if you ask me about our next game, I can tell you it will be even better than It Takes Two. It's going to be so crazy that I'm sh uh, that... <laughs> That's how sure I am. Like, the concept, what's going to happen, and people will be blown away. And he also talks about how players are going to be pushed to make more difficult choices, more uncomfortable choices to finish the game. And I'm really excited for the next game. I'm really excited to, uh, to see what it brings. And I forgot to mention this, but I just thought it was funny. When we played the first game, uh, like, inspired us to do stupid things together. We're Like, we were trying to, like bring co-op to life like let's try to touch the ceiling and stuff like that which is it was just stupid but it was really fun and i really enjoyed this game and i hope if you like what i'm talking about if this stuff seems interesting to you that you check it out um yeah so if you like this video like hit the bell comment subscribe and suggest to me some co-op games i can play because i'd like to play some more all right see you guys